Well, Whenever thank you, ready. everyone. Are we live, Lisa? We are live. Let's go, Aaron. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for taking the time uh, to join us today. Hopefully, today will be a um, you will find value and a good use of your time uh, spent. So, today we are going to show um, the integration between Poster My Wall and Radiant. We're also going to run through a demo of how you can really use the Poster My Wall platform um, to design and create that content. If you're not familiar with Poster My Wall, um, they make it uh, fast and easy to create visual assets for marketing, including dynamic digital display uh, content. And if you're not familiar with Radiant, Radiant is a digital signage platform um, that allows you to really take control of your screens and push any content that you want um, out there to those screens. So uh, today we're gonna rock through that demo, like we said. So we appreciate you uh, joining us. So Lisa, why don't you go ahead and share your screen and start us off by walking us through um, how you would create a design within the Poster My Wall platform. Okay, terrific. Thanks, Aaron. So I'm gonna show you, this is so fast, so easy. You can make professional quality um, images and videos for your digital displays without needing a, any outside production people, no graphic designer required. So we want to start on the Poster My Wall homepage, so postermywall.com, and on the top right where it says create a design, you click browse templates. Now this is what makes Poster My Wall special. We have over 170,000 professionally designed templates, so whatever kind of graphic or message you need, whatever business you're in. I mean, we have things for auto repair. We have things for parties, restaurants, um, you know, anniversaries, chamber of commerce, uh, veterans day, retail, anything that you need, you're gonna find a template to start with. Um, and then from there you can customize fonts, colors, backgrounds, images to make it your own. So once you're inside, you wanna do, you wanna do a search to narrow it down. Now, I want to note that you can browse by the size of the graphic or whether it's an image or a video. I'm just going to search everything because even though you can search for templates that are already sized for your digital displays, you can actually, with one touch, resize any other templates. So you don't need to limit yourself. You can find the template that suits you most and go from there. So I'm going to search here for, uh, let's see, we're going to do Taco Tuesday. Click return. And you can see there are dozens and dozens, just, just Taco Tuesday, okay? This gives you an idea how broad the choices are, all the different styles, images, anything you could possibly want. So I'm gonna narrow it down a little further and look for a template. All right. So you can see that you can get a preview of the template. If there's animation, you can see the movement. You click edit. And if you still like it, once you've seen it a little bigger, click customize and you are into the editor. Now, once you're inside, I would recommend the first thing to do is to just click on any, anything in and then start tabbing. And this will help you see what the elements are that you're working with. Now you can see here that there is an image in the background. There's a piece of clip art. There is some text. And then we have some text that is animated, uh, meaning that it changes a shape a rectangle behind that and a little more text. Now I'm gonna show you just to clarify what I meant by animated text. If I go down here at the bottom and click play, you can see that that message rotates. So that's a great feature with Poster My Well. You can take text that isn't animated and replace it with animated text. So this way you can put a lot of information without cluttering up your graphics. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to resize for digital display, click resize, scroll down, video 16 by nine, I'm gonna do horizontal, copy and resize. And you can see it brings all the elements over, it gives you the right size canvas, you need to do a little adjusting for the new size, I'm gonna click on that photo, come down to the bottom, we have this really easy stretch button, click one button, and we've covered the whole size. And then you can just, you know, just drag, drag things over. And that quickly you have created a, a custom video. Now, 
from here, say you, you know, you just kind of liked something about this, something about this template, but it really wasn't quite right. So you can give it a totally new look and feel. You can totally arrange all of the elements, change the text, everything. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to change Taco Tuesday into Pizza Night. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swap this background. Now, if you had wanted a video background, you could have gone to replace and told it to do a video and search stock videos for tacos. Um, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to tell it pizza. Okay, and you can see there are tons and you can see the small previews and you get, you know, get a, a, a drone's eye view of a pie. You can see them spinning the, the crust, uh, pretty much any kind of view, people eating pizza, anything that you want, you're going to find. And all of these stock videos are, are included with Poster My Wall. You, you know, as long as you stay with Story Blocks or Pixabay, you can see we have three different things. So the Getty images are a slight upcharge, but the other two are all included. Okay, so here's a going to do this guy cutting the crust. Click replace video. And you can see what a big dramatic change already. We've got a pizza flyer. Now, if you say don't like the length of the, of the video, you can click in here and tell it to use a custom duration and use this slider. Some of the videos will come in and you'll only be like 30 seconds or 10 seconds. And you, you can make the length of that video as long or short as you want right there. The other thing that you can do with the video is click trim and you can trim it right, right here in post for my wall. So say you wanted the guy cutting, but you didn't want the part after, you could slide that over, let go, click trim and instantly you would have that trimmed however you like. You can also bring in your own video, of course, and trim that right here in Poster My Wall. Next, we're going to move some elements around. Um, going to get rid of the clip art. Anything you don't like, you want to get rid of, just click on it, click your delete key, and it is gone. So say you want to bring in maybe your logo. So if you go to photo and add from my photos, you can see well, if you can take an images right off of your Google Drive from Dropbox, from Facebook, or if you click add from my photos, you can see what is on your desktop. If you, I click over here on the left to upload photos, I can take a photo off my desktop or an image or a logo or any kind of file. Um, I've already uploaded so this before, so you can see it stores your, it stores your images. And you click add photo. And there I've got my logo and now I can, you know, I can rotate it and I can use the handles and just drag and resize to get whatever size and position I want. So I'm going to add my logo up here. And now the text. Text is great. You drag your text, Taco Tuesday. And, you know, say we don't like this font, you can change the font. Um, over here on the right where it says Taco Tuesday. You scroll down and see it's in a font called Marguerite, and I am going to change it to Meriwether Bold, which I think looks a little, little more pizza. I'm going to drag that, make it bigger, and click, click twice to select one of the words. Click three times to select them all. Pizza night. It's that fast, that easy. You have your new, your new copy. Actually, I want to make that even bigger. I think. Now, there's all kinds of things you can change with your copy. You can see this has a gradient. We could change it to a, a solid color. You, we've got a color picker. You can use you know, any color you want. Very easy to, to preview, see what color. And down here, you can enter a hex code. So if you have a logo color or a font color, you know, corporate colors, you can plug those in there and turn to whatever you want. Uh, if you don't like the changes you've made, we have easy buttons up here, the undo and redo. So I'm going to go back. I'm just going to change the color of this a little bit. So I'm more orangey, I think. And then the second color, I'm going to make a little more red. And you can just make those adjustments so fast, so easy. Nice. All right. So I'm going to drag this down. And so this is a shape. And again, shapes can be easily changed. I'm going to use the color picker this time, the little eyedropper. If you wanted to match something else in your design, you click that. And you know, instantly you have that. Um, so I showed you the text animation and what this, basically if you wanna add text, you go over here to text tool, click add plain text. 
right? And you've got your text, and from there, of course, change colors, change fonts. There are, uh, you know, shadows, backgrounds, all kinds of things here you can play with. If you wanted animated text, you would click Add Animation. And so when you have the animated text, what you get is this menu here where you get multiple, you can, you can add your various texts. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that. And so I can get rid of the don't miss it copy too. Go back and show you the breakdown with the copy we already have. You can see it was the animated text. It's, it's the four different every Tuesday, five to nine during specials, live music. You can easily take any of these and drag them around to change the order. If you want to change the order, you can click add new slide. If you wanted to you know, add some extra copy, like uh, you want to say, see you there. I'm gonna make that shape a little longer too. Anyway, you can just position and reposition until you are 100% happy with the way your design looks. All right, so special and fun things. We have shapes. If you go to the clip art and add a shape, you can see we have tons of shapes you can add and you can change the outlines and the colors. We also have an awesome clip art library. If you say wanted to stick something else on there, so I'm gonna say pizza and you can scroll through and you can see any of these images that, you know, again, free included with our platform, any of that. I'm gonna pick this pizza just to show you one of our other special features. And that is the background remover. You can see that this clip art came in with a purple background. If I click remove background, and I just give it about a couple of seconds, you can see the background is gone. So you can do that also with photos. If you had, if you wanted to put photos of people or your team, you can put them in, use the background remover and you know, stick it against any background you want. You can also bring in animated um, GIFs if you like, any of that. So that is awesome. Now, some people need menus. Now there are restaurant menus and then there are a lot of other businesses that use menus too, right? We've got, uh, you know, an, an auto mechanic might have a list of services, a nail salon might have a list of services. So when I say menu, I basically mean anything where you would have a list of services with or without prices. So under layout, you can see we have add a schedule, add a menu, add a table or add tear off tops. I'm gonna to show you the menu. And you can see I have already put in some menu items. So what I can do is I can say, okay, you know, I want the cheeseburger, I want the works pizza, um, actually, maybe I don't want the cheeseburger. So you can just come here and you can unclick and you can easily decide. You can keep, you know, this is a database. This will stay with your design and anytime you know, we'll do the Caesar salad. So you can just add every item that you want. If you click on any of them, you know, you can change it. You can say, you know, if it's spicy, you can add icons and say new or it's two peppers spicy, apply the changes. Um, and all this will go onto your design. It is so fast, so easy. Click add menu. And you can see we brought it in and again, just drag and again, change the fonts, change the sizes, change the colors. And the menus, we also have a bunch of different layouts. So if you want um, the secondary descriptions or if you want to have, uh, you know, just the, you know, just the shorter versions, you know, however you want your menu, you can do that in seconds. And again, that stays in your database. So as you update your menu or take specials on and off, you can just do that with a couple of clicks, um, which is really great when you're updating your digital signage. So from here, we want to name it and you might want to name it earlier on and save as you go. I'm, I'm very bad about that. I call it Aaron Pizza Night. Don't worry, Lisa, I'm bad about that too. What, saving? <laughs> well, so long as you're not clicking into another design, the, the not saving doesn't seem to be too big of a problem. All right, so once you've saved, now you can uh, publish and click digital signage and then click radiant and continue. And this will export so it'll bring it right over to the radiant platform. And now Aaron, you can show them once they've got their design, how to get it up and playing. Great. Thanks, Lisa. 
every time I talk to you, I learn so much more about the Poster My Wall platform. And I love those menus and being able to choose all the different designs. I know our end users really appreciate um, the versatility there. So I'll go ahead and I'll share my screen now. And we'll show once they make those changes, how they can really get them up and on their screens. So once you log in to the Radiant platform, uh, you can do this from your iPhone, your iPad, your Android device, um, your PC. I personally am on my laptop right now, but you're just gonna navigate to dash.radiant.com. Um, and once you log in, you're gonna be, be able to see all the screens that you have um, underneath your account. Um, you'll be able to see quickly that your uh, screen is online, as you can see right here. Uh, this is the one that's in my, uh, in my home office here. So you can see the playlist that is assigned um, to that screen. And we're underneath the screens tab. Now we'll click over to the library tab. This is where all the content that I've created over time lives. So I've created folders. I've organized the content um, exactly how I want it. And for the sake of the demo, I've already pulled over um, our pizza night video. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop that into my poster my wall demo folder. But how did we get it here? Well, let's go take a look. This green uh, plus button, this takes you to the Radiant application library. And here I would be able to upload um, all of my own images, uh, my own videos, my Instagram account, a YouTube video. I could create a multi-zone layout. Um, but for the sake of this demo, we'll go ahead and we'll look in the poster my wall application. So once you choose that, you're going to hit this blue banner. And what that does is that allows the integration to take place. And then from there, I'm able to pull in any of the designs that I've created um, over in the Poster My Wall platform. Now I'll click over to Poster My Wall. As you can see, I have lots of designs that I've created over time. I have folders for our team where we've organized um, our content as well. So once you're in here, you would be able to hit the drop down box and pull in any of the videos that you've created. Now, this is one that I created this morning. And you can see this is a vertical um, ad. So I have this little button down here where I can hit vertical. Um, and then I would be able to name this and then go ahead and, and, and save it. So what we want to show for this demonstration, though, is we want to show the, uh, the video that we just created with that pizza night and get it up on our screen. So right now, I'm currently playing uh, the Cornhusker Bank uh, playlist. We're going to hit this blue little playlist right here. And we're going to choose the poster my wall demo that I've created. So once I assign that, I'm going to be able to um, to click into that. And you can see that I've added uh, the pizza night video. Oh, there it is, Lisa, right there, our guy cutting the pizza. And what I can do is I want to come back out and I want to publish this. So what I Uh, live and really, um, you know, how quick those those changes take place. So what I'll do is I'll stop sharing my screen so you can see my video and then we can kind of see this like happen in real time. So I'm going to hit the publish button here and then I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing. So you can see behind me, I have a bank uh, video playing from Cornhusker Bank. And there you go. Before I can even do much, we already have our uh, pizza night video up and on our screen. So really those, those, those change, and I have a Christmas tree. Um, you can see those changes really take place um, within a matter of seconds and be up and live and on your screen. So from the time that we started this uh, demo, which was you know maybe about 15 minutes ago and created that um, pizza night to getting it live and on our screen um, happens very quickly. Um, the other thing that I want to show while we have a, a few minutes here is the multi-zone layout. Um, so this is the idea of dividing your screen into different zones. Um, so if I click over here to my library and I want to go into the poster my wall folder, you can see that I, I, I've already created a, a, a multi-zone layout. So it really is as easy as, as coming in here and assigning a playlist um, to zone one, which we did. You can see that um, Taco Tuesday that I have, I pulled that in and assigned that to zone two. So those are playing. Down here on the bottom, you have this custom scrolling text. Um, I could also add in 
you know, um, any of these news feeds that are available. So Fox News, CNN, um, ESPN, I could add those in, but most people seem to, uh, to use the custom uh, scrolling text box. Then you can add in uh, the weather, um, bonus points if you've actually been to Whitefish, Montana, it's one of my favorite cities. Uh, you can toggle off the date and time. And then one of the things that you can do here is you can add a QR code. Um, this is really important, especially with touchless menus and everything that's going on right now. So you can tell the system that you need a QR code. And what I'll do is I'll just type in our website here. And then you want to give this a call to action. So you would you know, just hit scan here for menu. Now, if anybody's out there and you have your um, camera out, you could actually scan that QR code right now and it would take you to the Radiant website. Now you can play with the themes, change the background colors, um, and then set the duration of how long you want the multi-zone layout to show for. So I do love showing this because it is a very um, great tool to get digital signage up on your screen, have your pizza night, being able to show your drink specials. Oh, here we go. We got $3 pints popping up um, and being able to have that live animation um, on your screen. Um, and then again, you can take advantage of our QR uh, code builder if you need to. So, and then of course, once you're all done with everything, you wanna come out and make sure you hit that publish button. And that's what takes all those changes that you've created and gets them up on the screen. Um, the last thing that I wanna go over is our scheduled content. So if you had that Taco Tuesday um, that you wanted to show on your screen, you can come over to the scheduled content tab, add content. And from here, that would take you into the library. And once you're in your library, you can choose any of the designs that you've created. Um, so maybe it's uh, that pizza night that we want to show. We can add that to the playlist and then we can select when we want it to start. So maybe we want it to start at 3 p.m. We want it to run until we close. So we want it to um, run till nine o'clock. And we can make this a repeating event. So maybe it's just Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever night that we choose, we can choose to run that ad. Now, we can also add additional content. So we don't just have to have the pizza night, we could add in our drink specials, uh, we could add in opening and closing procedures for our staff. So before our location opens, um, we can have that stuff up and on the screen. So the system is very easy to use, as you can see. Um, we designed it so that anybody, if you can really operate your Facebook account, um, you should be able to easily um, control your screens with the Radiant platform. And with Poster My Wall being such a powerful tool, to developing that content for our end users, it really has been a, uh, a match made in heaven. So um, I hope that you really enjoyed uh, seeing this presentation today. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll, I'll stop sharing here and I'll let Lisa bring up our, um, our last slide here. So if you want, there's a QR code uh, right down below there. Oh, I think we lost your share. It didn't, yeah. It's always fun when you do it live. It's always fun. Okay, there we go. It, work, it works so well in practice. It was good in practice. <laughs> um, so if you're watching this on um, a tape delay and on a video, we did have some technical difficulties with the Facebook Live. They made some updates to their platform uh, this morning, of course, the day that we're, uh, that we're gonna go live. But I really wanna thank Lisa, um, who's the brand engagement manager for the Poster My Wall team. Thank you for your, your time today. Um, I'm Aaron Marsh with Radiant. I'm one of the channel managers here. And we really in, um, hope that you enjoyed uh, this demo today. And again, we have a QR code here. This will take you to a special offer. Um, so go ahead and scan that and fill your information in. And one, somebody from our team will be in contact. Thanks again for joining us. Have a great day from everyone here at Radiant and Poster My Wall. Thanks, folks.